I'm Julie Bartke with this Senate update. The Purple Caucus formed a few years ago with a mission of finding issues where senators could find some consensus, regardless of party affiliation. Recently, the group released its inaugural list of legislative priorities. We caught up with co-founder Senator Jeremy Miller for details. The Purple Caucus recently released several initiatives that it supports, including transportation, education, and child protection. So why take the approach of initiatives instead of actually offering up legislation? Well, there is legislation uh, moving on, on some of these different items already, and what we want to do as the Purple Caucus is we want to focus on priorities that, that really focus on the future. We don't necessarily want to have an agenda. Um, sometimes uh, agendas can be um, negative uh, how, depending on how you look at them. So we really want to come out with our priorities, and uh, we've been meeting several times uh, over the last couple of years, and uh, as a result of those meetings, these are the three areas, so education, transportation, transportation and child protection that all the members seem to have the most agreement on. And I want to be very clear, we don't have agreement on everything, just like the Republican caucus or the Democratic caucus, uh, members don't agree on, on every issue um, or every priority that we have, but there is a general consensus that, uh, that we do want to focus on, on these three priorities. What is it about each of those three priorities that you support? Well, I think as far as education goes, uh, the broad consensus uh, among the Purple Caucus members is we want to see an increase in per pupil funding with no additional uh, mandates. Uh, we hear from our school districts and frankly uh, from our uh, local units of government uh, quite often that uh, the state government or federal government will do something uh, with strings attached or there'll be unfunded mandates. So uh, we just want some additional funding with no mandates, uh, no unfunded mandates. And then as far as transportation goes, there's a general consensus that we need some uh, additional dedicated revenue. That doesn't necessarily mean uh, that we need to raise new revenue. Uh, we are also looking at some ways where we can uh, use some existing revenue and maybe uh, rededicate that towards transportation. So again, there's general consensus that we need additional uh, dedicated revenue for transportation. How we get there, uh, That's those are the details that we're still working out. And then uh, there has been uh, broad support as far as the child protection uh, recommendations that came uh, from the task force and those members of the task force have worked extremely hard. Uh, Senator Sharon and Senator Rosen put in a lot of hours and uh, we want to make sure that we uh, support those priorities and uh, those recommendations from the task force. Senator, shortly after the news conference outlining these priorities, you were quoted in the Minneapolis Star Tribune saying about the Purple Caucus that, quote, it really is a platform for members to get together and focus on areas where we agree rather than on areas where we disagree, end quote. So how has the Purple Caucus grown in members and in its mission in the past couple of years? Well, I'll just say that one of my biggest frustrations here at the Capitol is the extreme partisanship, the bickering, the finger pointing. It seems like uh, there's oftentimes more of a focus on where the two parties disagree rather than where there's agreement. And what I've found is after talking to members uh, on different pieces of legislation, uh, there is a lot of times uh, agreement. And uh, again, the focus is on where the disagreement is. So with the Purple Caucus, we really want to focus first on where do we agree um, and then work out the details on, on where those disagreements are. Uh, it started out with about six members uh, and then it grew. Um, we've had uh, up to 23 members uh, at our meetings, so that's almost a third of the Senate. And it's always uh, very close, uh, closely evenly split between uh, Republicans and Democrats, so that's a good sign. Uh, there are members uh, that want to work together in a bipartisan way, and uh, the Purple Caucus really is focus on the future and how can we uh, move uh, issues that are important to the state of Minnesota together in a bipartisan manner.